Champions is this Sunday, and there's really not a lot to go over, but there there is one that is very unfortunate, uh, and we'll get to that a little bit later on. Yeah. First off, the kickoff match. We have the the Lucha Dragons versus, I'm sorry, the Lucha Dragons and Adrian Neville, or just Neville now, I don't remember what to call him, I guess it's just Neville now. Uh, Neville and the Lucha Dragons will face the debuting, the, well, not really their debut, but it's their pay-per-view debut in a way. The Cosmic Wasteland, or I like just to call them the Cosmic, Cosmic Ascension, Stardust and the Ascension. Uh, now, this is a continuation somewhat of the SummerSlam thing between Neville and Stardust. Uh, but it's interesting because this is really out of nowhere to having the Ascension as a, as a, sort of, somewhat of a stable with, with Stardust. Basically, how this all happened is a, the night after SummerSlam, King Barrett attack, was attacked by Stardust and Neville made the save, so Barrett has not been seen since then. And, uh, the Ascension just randomly joined them one night, and it was the greatest thing ever. And, uh, Luke Dragon just thrown in here, I guess. But, um, this is a kickoff match, so this thing happens sometimes. But, I don't mind it, because it's a very interesting clash of styles here, with the, with the Luke Dragons and Neville being basically the high-flying team and Stardust being whatever style he has, and the Ascension just being the brawling LOD style team. It's a very interesting clash of styles here, but I, I will say that um, both of these teams are new, so I can't base it on, you know, it's the new team they got to win. Uh, I, would, I would love to see the Cosmic Ascension win this one, though, just because I love it. I love everything about it, and hopefully... Uh, this won't be the last time they team up, for sure. Speaking of tag teams, the next match for the WWE Tag Team Championship, the New Day defend against the Dudley Boys, Bubba Ray and Devon. And man, I've been waiting to talk about this one for a long time. Um, for those who don't know, the Dudley Boys, Bubba Ray and Devon have held basically almost every tag team championship in the world. The WCW, DCW, WWE, both versions of it, actually. The, uh, uh, the World Tag Team Titles and the WWE Tag Belts that were on SmackDown for a while. Uh, not these ones, but the other ones. As well as in TNA, which I don't think they want us to mention, but New Japan, IWGP Tag Team Titles. Um, God, I think they had one on the Indies in TCW as well. But the most decorated tag team, without a doubt, with the exception of the Road Warriors. Um, but this match, I don't know if there's any stipulation, I mean, say, if it was a tables match, I would say Dudley's all the way, but New Day recently retained their belts against the primetime players who cast in their rematch. I don't know why they didn't do it at Night of Champions, but, uh, there was that. And, uh, it, it does depend on which members of the New Day will defend, but I can, I can only assume it won't be Xavier Woods because he'll have the trombone, and the trombone has been the best part of Raw every week so far. Um, it, it's a tough one, because I want to see the Dudleys win and just have another title run. I mean, you're bringing them in, hopefully they do that. But, the New Day, other hand, won the belts recently on the last pay-per-view, which was SummerSlam, I believe. So, there wouldn't be any point of dropping the belts, of them drop the belts either. Um, I want, I'm just in good faith, I'm just going to say Dudley, just because I want to see him with those belts, and I'd be interested to see how, how they would wear them, because those belts are, I mean, with a new design on them, they look a little better, but the whole design's stupid, it, it, they're still penny belts to me, so it doesn't matter. And speaking of Worf's belt, not because it's worthless, but the person that holds it, Nikki Bella, the fans against Charlotte, and for those who knew uh, what was going to happen. Charlotte won the match on Raw and was supposed to be the US champion, but Brie Bella got involved. And unlike the Paige situation a couple months back where Nikki Bella, where Brie just had stuff in her, stuffing in a Raw, pretending to be Nikki, and uh, with that happening, uh, they just continued the match and Nikki won anyway. 
Stephanie McMahon came out and unfortunately disqualified Nikki Bella and thus retaining the title and becoming the longest reigning Divas Champion of all time. However, it does not mean she is the longest overall. Uh, just one second, I believe uh, AJ has it for a lot more days and let me check real quick. I just want to be sure on this. There it is. It wants to do it. Okay. Yeah. So, Nikki Bella is the current longest reigning in a single reign at 299 days. But if we're looking at combined reigns here, AJ Lee still has her by over 100 days in combined. As of, as of today. But, uh, I don't know what you're going to do here because my gut was saying Charlotte won the belt, was going to win the belt, and this would be a rematch or of some sort. That way it would just happen. But now I don't know what that say here because this match, I mean, Charlotte should have won Monday. So it makes you think they're saving it for Sunday to make you pay for it and see if it's actually going to happen. Unfortunately, it probably won't happen. And honestly, here's why. If, like I said before, AJ Lee has the most combined key reigns at 406. As of now, Nikki Villa's combined total is 305. That's for her two title reigns. If you're going to eliminate AJ Lee because of her association with Punk, which they have been doing uh, recently, you have to have her hold it for probably 444 or 34 days so we can get rid of Punk's longest reigning shit as well, uh, which is unfortunate, but it has to happen. And finally, the Intercontinental Championship match, Ryback versus Kevin Owens. This is very simple. Kevin Owens will become the new Intercontinental Champion. There's not a doubt in my mind. And with that, Night of Champions is this Sunday. And, well, before we do, which we have some time, I just want to go off of the World Championship match just because we've done it before, but it's an old-style booking kind of way of doing things last week on Raw, or this week on Raw actually, Sting made Seth Rollins tap out with the to the Scorpion Deathlock. Which unfortunately means that Seth Rollins will retain the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. That's just an old school booking. If the champion wins a, a match on Raw, he'll probably lose the belt. If, if the challenger won on Raw, he'll get the champion. The challenger would probably win and probably does not win the belt. But with that being said, it's this Sunday, and I want to be proven wrong. I honestly do. Where every title's on the line, except for a few matches, but we'll see what happens with that. 